A while back, I took a look at the power bay made by Brooke. Essentially what this thing is, is a highly functioning Nintendo Switch alternative dock that has built-in ports supporting GameCube controllers. On top of that, it actually allowed you to connect two pairs of Bluetooth headphones directly to your Nintendo Switch, making this thing not only a really good alternative dock for your Switch, but it made it an absolute dream for playing Smash Bros on the go. Now I have nothing but good things to say about the power bay. As a matter of fact, it actually overtook my original Nintendo Switch dock and I use this thing as my primary dock for my Switch. But just when you think that they couldn't make this thing any better, Brooke decides to throw a curveball and they actually released an alternative version of this dock. Now I would call it an updated version, but for now we'll just call it an alternative version. And I'll explain why. While this dock has all of the great function and features that the original Power Bay had, there's one slight twist. They removed the ability to connect Bluetooth headphones and replaced it with a fully functioning Ethernet port. So now, not only is it a great dock that takes up less space than the original, you have the ports for the GameCube controllers, and you can immediately connect to wired internet, greatly reducing the probability of lag and latency while playing online. So as I previously stated, the design and all of the functionality of the original Power Bay is present with this alternative dock. The only difference is that the function button that would allow you to connect the Bluetooth headphones is now just a set piece and doesn't actually work. Outside of that, everything works exactly like the previous version. The GameCube controllers run great on this thing. And with the ability to connect to wired internet, it's such a huge difference while playing online. And there's no special instructions or any major changes you need to make. You simply plug in the ethernet cable and you'll see the Wi-Fi symbol on your Nintendo Switch change to this icon, indicating that you're connected to wired internet. Now, personally, I myself play a lot of fighting games. I've always been a big fighting game enthusiast. The Nintendo Switch is home to a ton of great fighting games, but it is definitely not the most ideal console to play fighting games online. With the updated version of the Power Bay, this was the most noticeable difference. I noticed it didn't take as long to get me into a match, and when I was in the match, it was a lot less laggy than it was before. As a matter of fact, I had three back-to-back -back outstanding non-lag filled matches, which is something that has never happened to me while playing online fighting games on the Switch. Smash Bros, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat all ran so much better while connected to wired internet. Playing shooting games on the Switch, I genuinely don't really encounter the same kind of problems that I do with fighting games. But every shooter that I played while using wired internet with the power bay ran every bit as good, if not better, than while playing on Wi-Fi. If you're a Smash player or play fighting games on the Nintendo Switch Online, this thing is practically a must-own, man. And for anyone else in between, I highly recommend the power bay. Either version, a replacement dock, a way to play using wired internet, or if you want a solid way to connect your Bluetooth headsets to your Nintendo Switch, either version of the power bay is a really good buy. If you guys are interested in the power bay made by Brooke, I'll put links to both versions in the description below. Until next time, this is Ness, signing out.